post it. So I'm recording now. Um, so first one I, I wanted to bring up, so this should be a short meeting actually. Uh, so I'll share my screen and if I share it, I should not show confidential stuff. Um, but yeah, maybe I won't share it, but like, um, so sorry, I should have linked to this. So do 20, there aren't any confidential due 22nd issues if that helps. Okay. That that's helpful. Thank you. Um, it, it does help. Thanks, Sean. So um, I'm just going to find the confidential, not confidential, the due 22nd issues. And for, uh, what is this, milestone 11 point, um, 11.2, right? Yeah. So if, uh, oh, no, sorry. 11.2. Uh, how come I'm not getting any? Two twenty three. Are oh. we on eleven point three? We're like two years into this, like or not <laughs> one, one, one year into this, like staggered thing, and then I'm still. Oh, you are you already put it? Thank you, Sean. Um, so, my screen. Um, so we finished these two, which is great. So this one was closed. This one was was not. Um, and then I'll get them. Yeah. So that 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 one's done. So this is great. Uh, any comments on these two, Sean, or, or just you expected them to be done, or? Uh, no. Uh, just yeah. What you said. Okay. Great. And then uh, well, what was it going to show? Uh, the open ones. So some of these are done, but waiting for review. So I'm pretty happy about that. And we can talk about like, um, yeah, steps. I'm not super concerned about that. So what I've been saying to people is like, you know, obviously it's not, a, it's there's no consequence for missing this. And because of the summit, like, you know, most of these are in review, but don't have, um, right. Like, haven't had final review yet. So, um, one I would want to call out is that uh, first one, uh, which Yarko was looking at, but is not in a review because we don't know what the issue is exactly. yet. Yep. Um, so that one is like a complete miss. Um, the next one, the usage ping is basically done. It's just waiting to emerge. The one after that uh, just turned out to be more complicated than we mm -hmm. thought. Um, so that has uh, had an impact on Yam. Um, the, fortunate part there is that yeah is not going to the summit so like it's not um right you know, it'll, it'll still make it into 11.3 i would say but it might have an impact on yam's other issues mm -hmm. um the sourcing one apparently needed some back-end work so i'm not quite sure what's oh no sorry that's the that's the other sourcing one um this one right yeah 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 sorry that one's in review um does this one start uh, yeah it's in review Oh yeah, yeah, right, right. I met with them yesterday. Yeah, they said that it's it's also in review. Um, so yeah, I had a comment we can talk about next on that uh, in review. Okay. But it seems like everything. I think this one yeah. was not started, right? Uh, as far week. as I'm aware, like I think Constance just started that, but I don't know. Um, yeah. The the other Jira one, um, Felipe had a look and commented on the issue, and right. he doesn't think it's actually a bug. Um, like, so he tried yeah. to make it clearer to people, but we're just waiting for a response from people. So, right. um, we'll probably, you know, that, uh, unless if they say that makes sense, then that's solved and we don't need to actually write any code. Right, exactly. So, yeah, no, all I wanted to do is go over these really quickly and comment that I think it was by and large, I, I don't know what success criteria we're, we're measuring, but I think it was an improvement in that at least people pick these up. So I, I mean, that seems very trivial, like, Oh, like, please work on these things. But I, 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 you know, with like the amount of stuff that we work at GitLab, I think this was a success from that perspective. Um, people pick these up, they, they pretty much finish them. And then I have different topics to talk about, like they're not actually finished, finished, but at least they're not like, so like this one is, is a problem for, for, for a different reason um, regarding that, that I already talked to Andre about. So maybe Sean, I could talk to you about it here really quickly, which is the dedicated engineer thing. And mm -hmm. so on the front end team, dedicated doesn't really super mean dedicated right now. And, and I don't agree with that. So I brought that up with Andre and he, he says he 
he sympathizes, pretty much agrees. Um, and as he said, the follow up is that he'll talk with Tim further, and then we'll revisit like the discussion when when everybody returns from the summit. Um, but to me, the the problem that this surfaced for me is that Constant had been assigned this one specifically, but then he didn't get to it until like maybe late last week, if, if at all, um, because he was presumably working on other things. So to me, that defeats the purpose of dedicated. So I wanted to get your thoughts. Do you agree with that? And is that also what on your team right now is, is it pretty much dedicated or is it there's some you know, like give there? Uh, on my team, because it's planned now, everybody's dedicated. Okay. Because, so it's, um, a, it's a non-issue, right? Yeah. Oswaldo and Mark moved to create. Right, right. <laughs> so yeah. they're the dedicated people for create, right. but they're, they're like on a different team now. So. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I just wanted to, I mean, I'll, I'll repeat what I told um, Andre to, to you, Sean, which I, I think is, is relevant. But when, when I, at least when I go through this, I'm, I'm not obsessed with things not being done on due 22nd. Um, I'm obsessed with um, like people not starting on them and, and then that they were uh, that they were working on other things and then so it, to me that defeats the purpose of planning so because if we, we plan these things I, I know at least you Sean and Andre do a, do a really you know difficult job or are trying to plan specifically that you have this much time and then that you will work on these things. If you're already accounting for it, and I guess in this case this is what Andre accounted for, that they're actually working on other things, then that sucks for me because then I don't know about that and then that sets a false expectation for me, right? So, but if the expectation is that, you know, an engineer, they're dedicated to plan, they have these two weeks up to due 22nd that they're just gonna work on it, then that's a really, then it's clear to me um, then I can, uh, if they're on vacation, that's also clear to me because I can see it in Google Time and so on and so forth. So um, that, that's what I wanted to, to communicate and then Andre agrees. So let me, so, so does that all make sense, Sean? Do you disagree with any of that statement? Uh, no. Um, so the two things I would say about the June 22nd things for my team are um, Jan's one, which I mentioned, which just turned out to be more um, right work so that's useful information um but they, you know not particularly right um, an issue with this system um that's just like a regular retro thing like how do we do better estimating things and so forth yes um the other one was um Yaka's one that she hasn't really made any progress on i think she had three due 20 second which i think is probably too many um, right but we can, you know, we can discuss that next time we do it. But I think that was part of the reason. So she was making sure that she got the other ones done because I think they were higher on the board. But because she had three, like other people only had one or two, um, it makes it hard to make sure that they're all in in time. Um, right. But apart from that, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it so far. Um, and then I will, um, oh, sorry, I was cutting you off. Go ahead, Sean. So the other thing is the batch commenting uh, from what I understand, Andrew hasn't had a huge amount of time to work on that. So that might well miss 11.3 as well. Right. Um, well, I mean, I, I mean, that's, I didn't put a due 20 second on it. It's, uh, well, but it was also like impossible. I would presume to be done in due 20 second. So this system doesn't really capture that well, because it, it, it's saying what to do and not to do things in a certain order. So, um, but yeah, I, I, I don't see any action on that issue either. So I, 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 you know, anticipate that we will hear from something when they get back. Um, and even Mario, I didn't see anything he added. To uh, no, I've spoken to Mario about it. So basically he's pushed the changes that he's made, but he's, he was mostly focused on the JIRA thing because that was due 22nd. Exactly. And also exactly. Yeah. So I, blocking Andre, Andrew's like, you know, just blocked by other things. Okay. That, yeah, that to me that's fair because we didn't prioritize that. Um, so I, what I was trying to type here is, um, so I'm thinking we could just document this for now, maybe on the retro uh, issue. Is that a good idea? Yeah. Um, and we'll figure something out in the future if we. I, I don't want to create another spreadsheet for the sake of creating spreadsheets because they're really annoying. Yeah. Okay. 
So I'll probably do that at some point or, or wait till you, I, I think you've already created it, right? Are you? Uh, no, I've not created the okay. retro issue for 11 dot. Three. Three, but I, no. Uh, so the reason I don't create them until after the freeze is because we don't know which things didn't make it okay. until after the freeze, but. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, like I don't think this is super uber urgent. Like the the history is there, so I, I I'll just manually pick those up once you, you do it. Um. Uh. So I I moved around the order in the agenda uh, item because we already just talked about number four review process. Oh no, we didn't talk about this. So I wanted to talk about this um, again. I don't. I think this discussion is way beyond plan. Um, but I wanted to bring it up with you, Sean, at least um, since you're here. Um, so the, the example here I said is that one of the issues, at least one of the issues was already assigned to somebody to review, I think James. Um, but presumably he's in summit mode or doing other things or doesn't even know about the 322nd thing. So what are your thoughts on that? Like, is that something that we don't address now? Is that something we can iterate on a change? Because I, I personally do, can't think of anything to solve this problem right now. Because we, by, by definition, we throw MRs to non-plan engineers to review. And that to me seems really crazy from a uh, management perspective, but I totally appreciate it from like a GitLab wants to share code knowledge with everybody perspective. And that, that's always been the process is my understanding. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't particularly see it as a, a problem unless it's going to lead to somebody missing a deadline. But I think that's okay. a sort of cross team problem rather than an individual teams problem. Um, so yeah, from my perspective, I, I don't have a huge amount of concerns about that. Okay. So, so in this particular case, we tried to finish the do 22nd and they, the, the, the MR was already ready for review like Friday. And then um, and, and, and it was assigned to James. And so do you expect the developers to ping them more or do you say like, oh, this was just summit month, so don't worry about it because James probably would have seen it by today. And then like giving, them, giving him three days to review it is more than enough type of thing. Yeah, I mean, in general, you know, people own their own merge request and making sure it gets reviewed. Okay. Um, we've talked a few times about in the main retrospective and in our retrospective actually about, you know, making sure that we um, follow up. Yeah, we we make sure that that happens, but it's it's the person who's writing the MR's responsibility to make sure that happens. So. Okay. Um, Okay, so so maybe if like yeah, to me this is a confluence of things, especially to do twenty second. But my sense is the team members are they won't bug the reviewer that much. Is that is that the case? And then maybe they'll give them like a, even a whole week if they're if they're not, or is that not supposed to be the case? Uh, yeah, I mean it's good. It's good. <laughs> I don't know how much it matters. <laughs> like if it's, if it's not affecting a deadline, like, you know, the, the whole point of people having different things to work on is that. Well, no, this, this one affected the deadline, right? That that's my point. This is, or, or maybe you're saying like this due 22nd is not a deadline. Right. Or, it's not like, you know, if it, if it misses due 22nd, nothing happens. Right. Like if, right. if you've got an MR in review for due 22nd, okay. you can still work on other stuff. Yes. But, um, are you saying because this is, is summit month? Are you saying because this is an, uh, uh, the first time? This is we're still in experimental mode. Or are you saying um, that this is your understanding of due twenty second? Um. Okay, so like, like maybe we we were we had misaligned expectations of due twenty second. So maybe we need to correct that first. I think is, is the problem. No, so my expectation is that next month more things will be merged on the twenty second that are due twenty second. But okay. in general. Like I see the point of the due twenty second label to give us better information about what's going to ship in the second half of the month, mm -hmm. not to like worry about whether someone's reviewed this in the last couple of days or not, because that's you know. Well, do you? I don't. Uh, Go ahead. 
I don't want to use it like because I think people already feel too much time pressure around the existing okay. freeze we have. I don't want to create a second one where we have more time, where, you know, where we add that time pressure. I want to reduce the time pressure from the freeze by doing this. Like, you know, the purpose of this, as far as I'm concerned, is to reduce um, the uncertainty and the amount of time pressure people feel on things like that and the amount of bunching that happens with review right. requests rather than to have a second place where we bunch everything up and everyone's like, ah, I need to get this merged by the 22nd because it's got two twenty second on it. Like, you know, the, the yeah, point I mean, is to manage our work throughout the month. No, I, I totally agree with you on the on the purpose of the two twenty second, but operationally we should have a clear expectation and a communication on what is the goal. So my goal I originally thought was that our goal is to get issues merge or MR specifically merge by the 22nd. So I'm, I'm fine if you disagree with that. And, and I would even propose that we change the name to not do 22nd if that's not what we're, if that's not our goal, right? Well, you know, maybe it's sort of different understandings of what this means, but I would say my also, I would also say that my goal is, or my understanding of the goal is to have these things merge by the 22nd. But if something's not merged by the 22nd, I don't see that as a huge problem necessarily. Um, especially okay. if people are traveling for the summit. Like, um, it well, yeah, no, I'm saying su summit, summit aside. So, so let's not worry about what like this particular case, but let's talk about the general case, which is next month. Um, you, you brought up a great point, which is operationally. I, I, first of all, I didn't even think about like cross team things. So that, that messes it up. But operationally, we, we said like within our own team, um, you try to get things done on before due 22nd. And um, if you have a choice to work on one thing versus another thing, you work on the due 22nd one first. That's always the higher priority. And then so when it comes to reviewer, I think that gets really complicated because then I think you're saying they, they should work on something that's something else and not the due 22nd first, a thing first. Uh, all I'm saying? saying is that if you've done as much as you can on your G22 things and you're waiting for review, you have, okay. you have other things to work on. And if the only reason something misses G22 is because it's waiting for review, mm -hmm. um, then it depends on how long it's been waiting for review for. If it's been waiting for review for like a week and it's not a month where the summit's happening or something like that, right. then you know, we probably should have followed up with a reviewer sooner and seen about maybe assigning someone else. But if it's not reviewed by the 22nd because it was submitted on the 21st, then maybe that was submitted too late. Um, you know, and that's just information we have about. Um, right. But I, I mean, I, I'm just trying to actually, uh, I maybe disagree with me, Sean. I'm just trying to actually make it easier for the both developers and us to measure it. So would you, would it even be better just to say, the goal is to get uh, due twenty second issues in review by due twenty second in review by a twenty second. Is that like to me? That's an easier thing to control. Um, we would have a greater sense of success for developers because they can actually control that more versus like cross team things. And then to me, that's a better first step instead of saying getting it merged because there's uncertainty from cross team. Yeah, but I don't. I don't. I just guess, I guess fundamentally, I don't feel the need for that much control. Like, um, I, I, I don't think it's a communication. We control that, but we don't control how much work will come back from the review, which is why I think the goal should be to have it merged by the 22nd. And, you know, if yeah, you, I can see your point. If you have to spend another couple of days working on something after it comes back from the first round of review, um, because there are a bunch of things you didn't think about, then if you had it ready on the 22nd in review, yeah, okay. I would say that's, that's too late. Like from, from my perspective, the idea is to get it merged by the 22nd, but I don't, I don't know. If you want to measure it, then I guess in review is easier to measure. I'm not a huge fan of measuring things like that because you get what you measure. So that's sort of my bias there. Okay. I, I mean, uh, it seems like we're not going to change it. So that's fine. I'll just, I'll, 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 my last point I wanted to communicate is that I think it would be, it, it, it's a better communication to state what the, the intended goal is. It, it, control is a bad word. So it's, it's the communication of the, the goal of the expectation is to 
so we're saying, okay, so we're going to leave it and we're going to say that um, the goal is to get it merged by the 22nd. I'm contending that's a harder goal to achieve because you, has, you have less control of it. And then that would suck for developers because they feel like um, they, can't, they can't affect that goal as much as, as they can. And so it would be less motivating. But obviously, you're the manager of these developers. So that, therefore, I would definitely defer to you. Um, but that's, that's my final word. And I'll let you have the final word before we move on to the next topic. Um, yeah, I mean, maybe we just talk about this again when Andre's back. <laughs> yes, deferring is the best way. Okay, so not, nothing's changed. Okay, thank you. Um, so 11.4 issues. Uh, how, how long is this meeting? Do we have, we have time, right? Uh, so um, I, I already updated a bunch of 11.4 issues. There's a lot still, I think. Um, what, what are your thoughts on that, Sean, on the 11.4 issues for that? Uh, have a look at them. Let me take a look. Um, I'm not going to share my screen because I guess some of them might be confidential. Yeah. But. And since uh, you're Annabelle, you can take a look as well. And I'll, and I'll link to this as I showed up earlier. Okay, yeah, so first of all, there's loads there. Uh, secondly, I don't think any of them are confidential. <laughs> okay. um, and then we can, we can subtract out the portfolio management thing. I'm really annoyed that, not annoyed at anybody specifically, but we, I'm annoyed that we didn't get the inherent milestones thingy because what this happens constantly is every time we push back issues, the like 11.5 and 11.6, there's just more and more stuff in those and that um, I really want the roadmap view so that we can see then where we're overloading stuff um, in the next couple of milestones. Um, so uh, one thing I see is that we have four backend technical debt issues, which is because we've had to keep pushing them out, but we can't keep pushing them <laughs> out. Um, so, uh, sorry, five. Um, so it's, it's, it's a bad indicator, but it's a good thing that we have so far fives. <laughs> so. Yeah. Um, Is it accurate that there are only three UX issues and two of them are already assigned to Pedro? Uh, what the UX label you mean, Animal? Yeah. Um, how we've worked is a lot of these have been UX considered already. So if you look at especially the portfolio management ones, a lot of them are like um, outgrowth of existing issues. So they're essentially UX ready, but we didn't, we're, we're not, we didn't put those labels there specifically. So maybe that's something between you and Pedro, you can figure out how you want to do, but um, manage that. But I'm, I'm fairly confident that these issues are not, like they're not new things that UX needs to consider or, or needs a lot of work on. These are like existing ideas. There's visuals and things like that. It, it, was that the concern? Like there's, there's not enough work for UX or that there's like, like these are brand new things or? Yeah, I guess I was under the impression that if it needs UX, it is labeled UX. And I I'm see. Three. Yeah, a lot, a lot of it is, if you look just sort on portfolio management, all those are, there's nothing like portfolio management for 11.4, there's nothing new. Like, uh, like, like, like 99% like certain that Pedro has looked at all of them. I'm going to do that right now. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. A lot of them he told me to open as well. Um, yeah, so, so for, for portfolio management, especially, uh, Sean, as you're looking at it, I already told the team that uh, I expect to push a lot of the 11.3 things into 11.4 because a lot of the 11.3 things will not be done. And then so we'll have to remove a lot of the 11.4, existing 11.4 things. Okay. Um, we I have... A VSM thing in there about the time analytics line chart. Is that still? 
valid for 11.4? Um, I mean, I guess it's waiting for Jan's thing about the system notes. Yeah, so. I mean, it's valid? it's valid in, in the sense that I want it. Um, it could be okay, invalid. Right. So it's, it's, it's invalid. Still there. Yeah, no, yeah, that's fine. Be, okay, it could be invalid if you say, like, we can't do it, but... Um, yeah, I don't know if there's anything in specific you want to talk about there, so... Oh, yeah, if there's nothing that seems horrible, then I'm fine. Or if there's something that you really wanted to do that, that, that it's not there, then we can talk about it. But other, other than that, we can just, I, I'll definitely just wait for you and Andre to, to further parse this as, as time progresses. Um... For me, there's nothing like new. It's just we're we're continuing to just chug along and do stuff. Um, new as in there's no big new initiatives I see in 11.4. Um, it's stuff that, especially for portfolio management, we need to we need to be able to close issues. So that that's a big problem. Uh, close epic, sorry. Um, and so that's not. I mean, it's I guess it's exciting for people who need to close epics but it's not very flashy. And then the, the other things would be the, the VSM thing would be a pretty major feature. But beyond that, it's not, nothing new that we haven't talked about already. So maybe that's, I'm selling okay. it, but. Um, yeah, so from my perspective, apart from sort of general stuff, it looks like we've got a lot of Elasticsearch stuff and a lot of technical debt. Some of them are both um, that we need to address. Okay. Um, in 11.4, so as long as we have time for that, then that's fine. Okay. Yeah, I think a lot of the Elasticsearch ones, I think you added in, uh, for sure the technical death things, I think you added in and I, and I purposely left it and I didn't move it out further. Um, so, so I'll let you drive that. Um, and then go ahead and Sean, look at future tech debt. And like, if it's getting like really ridiculous, um, that mountain, um, and if you want like a separate strategy to address it beyond just every month, we just sort of chip away at the mountain. Um, like if you want to put it in Epic or be more strategic on like, uh, you know, managing it, go ahead and, and, and do that work and then let me know. But from my perspective, seems like you're putting it in every month and then picking a few and then if that's good enough, then that's great. If it's not, then let me know. Okay. Um, yeah, that's, that's all I had. I didn't want to add stuff on the agenda. Um, and then, so are we meeting next week? I mean, I can. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, I can I can put more exciting things on the agenda next week, um, like talk about more feature-ish things. Maybe that'll be a very useful time. Um, Annabelle, you'll you'll be here, right? Yep. Okay. So yeah, so we'll we'll meet next week then. Cool. Thanks, Victor. Thanks, right. Annabelle. Thank Thanks. you. Bye. Talk to you first. Bye. Later. Bye.